Hello and welcome to Sassy Scrapbooking. In today's video I am going to deviate from my normal video tutorials and do something totally different. I was on the Cricut website and I was reading a comment that somebody had left on one of the forums and this is what she wrote. Hello, I am a brand new Cricut Explorer owner and I have been watching all sorts of tutorial videos like crazy. I am struggling with the weld function. I have been watching this video and there's a link to a video over and over to figure out what I'm doing wrong. I am trying to weld St. John onto a plain frame and no matter what I do St. John blends into the frame after I click weld. Everything, frame, font, letters, is ungrouped and I am not sure what I'm doing wrong. I just want to create a negative space of St. John, that's quote unquote, in the frame. Does anyone know what I'm doing wrong? Love this new machine, but it is definitely a big learning curve. Thank you, Sarah. Well, Sarah, I hope I'm going to answer your questions. I watched the video that you mentioned or that you uh, attached the link for, and since that video was made, Cricut has upgraded their software. So I'm going to use the weld key or the weld icon feature and I'm going to also use the slice and hopefully one of these two might help you out. So first of all I'm going to go ahead and take this square here and duplicate it. And I am going to make it just a little bit smaller and let's change the color of it so it's easier to see. I'm going to place it inside the blue square. I'm not really concerned about how well it fits or anything. I, I'm just trying to show a point here. I'm going to select both the blue and the green square and I am going to use the slice key. In doing that it changes them both to blue but now if I select the inner square, I can pull that out. Now, if I wanted to take this pink heart and duplicate it, I'm going to duplicate it two times, and I'm going to place it just so it touches the edge right there, and then click outside, and now I'm going to click out here and highlight both the frame and the heart. Now I'm going to click the weld space and what that's going to do is going to weld the heart to the frame. Now if that's not what you're trying to do using the weld feature, here's something else. Using the slice feature again, I am going to place the pink heart here inside my blue square and have to remember to put the darker pink, I have to bring it up to the front and I'm going to place it there. I'm going to move this out of the way. And now I'm going to select both hearts and the square and my slice feature doesn't show up. My well does, but it's going to make them disappear and I'm wondering if that's what you're doing. So let me undo that. Let me pull this heart out. Now let's take just these two items, select them all, and my slice feature comes back into play. If I click on the slice feature, I can now create a negative space, if you will. Now I can take my heart, let's put it back into the forefront, my other heart here, select these two items, because this is done, I'm selecting this, the, the dark pink heart and the blue square. My slice feature is back. Click on that and I can pull that out. I hope this video has been helpful. Please do leave me your comments. I read them all. And at this moment, I would like to thank you for watching my video at Sassy Scrapbooking. 
please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. I will continue to add new videos as my adventures with the Cricut Explorer continue. Bye for now.